Good morning. I'm just here to testify of the mercies of God. Uh, sometime last year, around November, we got a mail from work that we're going to lay off 10,000 workers because I work in the tech space. We were all scared that my department was going to be impacted. Uh, the company gave us like a buyout. They said, we don't want to be laid off, take this buyout. The buyout was good. I did to cover my mortgage for like eight months. But what happened after then? With the way the economy is, we're never sure judge are not hiring this, freezing it, they say freeze everywhere. And they gave us 10 days to make this decision to take the buyout or wait up what will happen. My colleagues took that buyout. I didn't take it. My manager kept asking to the boss that I didn't take it out. Do you have a plan B? Try to make a plan B. Anything can happen. Uh, the CEO told us by January they will do if, if they are in production level this time. So December ending came and we got on that mail. Like, it's not going to be 10,000, it's going to be 18,000 this time. I was really scared. You know, myself, my family, I they praying every day. I'm not here to advocate about tithe, but you know, I want to pay my tithe in December. I was like, if I go pay that big money, I can use it to do something else. You know, generally I might lose my job. But something just said, you know, just I did it. You know, I kept putting to that goes what that's in Malachi uh, 3, uh, 3, 10, 11, that lay off is in the horror. You know, I will not be laid off, I will not lose my job. January came. They told us uh, January 18th, we all get a meal. Those that are in party will know that they are in party. I work from home. So that morning I dropped my daughter off from uh, school. I came back home. I took my bath. I was about to log in. <laughs> I logged in. The first email I got was you know, to all staff that today you're going to know who is in party and who is not in party. I, I shut up my laptop again. I went to my living room and I was, I was there. You know. At about 11 o'clock, I got a text message, my friends are texting me. Then check your mail, check your mail. Mails are going out, mail mails are going out. I quickly went to my laptop, I opened it. I didn't see no mail. And the next my friend said, I don't have access again. My access is taken. Do you see access? I said yes. I kept praying, you know, like I kept praying. I kept praying. I didn't eat, you know. I, I don't do six to six fasting. I don't do six to six to twelve, six to one, six to two. For that day, I kept praying. It was one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. My team, they are in Seattle. I'm the only one in Dallas. I kept praying. When it was four o'clock for me to log off, I said, no, Seattle is still two o'clock. Anything can happen. I kept praying. Six o'clock. Now it's four o'clock in Seattle. I see, I still kept praying. When it was seven, I said, God, thank you. In my team, I'm the only African. Like, it was just the mercy of God. When they were saying this day of, I knew if it's not God's mercy, my name will be a mom. You know, because I don't speak like them. I just joined the team, you know, not too long ago. You know, so God was just, just, just so merciful. You know, a friend of mine asked for my God the criteria they use in keeping people back. I said, I don't know. I don't care to know. I said, God has shown me this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thank you for so many Good morning, Church. Good morning. Praise the Lord. You know, when he started with his testimony, something said, Bella, go out. It happened in my company too. We received an email that from the director himself that they're laying out 2,000 staff in my department. You know, I didn't even see the mail. My colleagues would not send me mail like, Bella, have you seen the mail? I said, what mail? I opened the mail. I was like, oh my God, my heart just dropped. And I was going to shut down my system, and I heard a word say, I will not leave you nor forsake you. And I opened up my eyes, and I felt this calming spirit that all is well. You know, people started sending out mails that, what's, going, what's the criteria, what's this, what's that? I didn't respond. I said, whatever it is, God will 
particular management. I'm under a covenant church. I'm under the grace of God. I kept speaking that. And lo and behold, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they sent out another meal. You know, you guys are, are safe. I'm like, mm, whatever. I believe in the word of God. And he said, I will not leave you nor forsake you. I just want to thank God that my job is preserved, my life is preserved. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, before I was born in my mother's womb, uh -huh. and you too, before you were lost, before your mother's womb, God first loved you, before you loved God. He has chosen you before you chose God. My music is called us.